All right, welcome back. We're going to be learning a song on piano today. Um, now, um, if you didn't watch the last video about the names of the keys, I would recommend you go back and do that. But if you're already familiar with where a C is, where a D is, where whatever is, um, then feel free to stay. Um, now, I am going to be playing the piano upside down today, so you guys can have a kind of good view of what your keyboard is going to look like. Um, so if I make a mistake, bear with me. Um, I'm not playing the way I normally play. Um, now, the song we're going to be learning today is in the style of an Imagine Dragon song. It's in the style of Demons by Imagine Dragon. Um, and it's going to be using four chords. Now, in class, we've learned some mini chords. Um, we're going to be using those mini chords again today. And I'm just going to kind of review what those mini chords are. Now, remember, um, our two keys are the chopsticks, and the C is right below that. And our three keys are the forks, and the F is right below that, and I'm going to be referring to that quite a bit. Now, for our mini keys, we're going to be pushing two white keys down for every chord. Right? For every chord, we're only going to be using two. We're not going to be using three. And for every two, they're only going to be the white keys we're using today, and there will always be one in the middle. All right? There will always be two white keys pressed down and one white key in between the two of them. All right? So that should help you out just a little bit. So, the first chord we're going to do is the C chord, and it starts with the C. So everybody please, find a C, I don't care which one, but preferably you want one on the lower side. All right, I'm going to use this C, I'm going to skip a white key, and I'm going to press them down at the same time, and that's your C chord. And we're just going to hold that for four counts. So it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. That's it. The next chord we're going to do is a G chord. Now the G, if you know your alphabet, is after F. So let's go ahead and let's find an F. I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to go F, G, because it's right after it. I'm going to skip a white key and press that down, right? And it sounds like this. Now, because we're playing a song, we have to be able to go from one chord to the next, so I'm going to go from my C to my G, and I'm going to hold it for four counts every time. So, this is the point in the video where you can totally stop me and practice. In fact, I would recommend stopping the video and practicing, because I'm going to be moving at a pretty quick speed just so I can get in the video. So don't feel like if you can't play this song at the end of the video, you can't play it, all right? I don't expect you to. I expect you to pause and practice, all right? That's how you be a successful musician. Nobody gets it the first time. And if you do get it the first time, hats off to you, all right? So this is where I recommend you practice going from that C, C chord to that G chord. It's going to sound like this. Play for four beats every time. My turn. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. Once you can do that, come back. Welcome back, all right? Now, the next chord we're going to be looking at is the A minor chord. Now, in the piano, um, we don't actually go after beyond G in the alphabet. So instead of going A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, there's no H note. Instead of playing a G, H, we just go back to A. So to find an A, you will find a F first, because that's the closest one. G, A. Because we go from G start over back to A. Right? So the A chord, uh, the A note is right here, and I'm going to skip a white key, and I'm going to press the next one down, and it sounds like that. All right? Now if you notice, you'll be playing an A and a C at the same time. Right? So the, four, the three chords we learned so far are C, G, and A. And if you notice, G is right next to A minor, right? So that can help you out. You don't need to go G, A minor over there, right? You can just go G, A minor here. So we're going to play each one for four counts, right? My turn first. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. A minor, two, three, four. All right? Once you got that, come on back. Welcome back. All right, this last chord we're going to learn is the F chord. Now, it'll be easy because you know where F is. So find an F, skip one, F. 
you've got that chord down, all right? So we're gonna play C for four, G for four, A minor for four, and F for four. It's gonna sound like this, my turn. Two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four. Then you start over because songs have to keep going, all right? They don't just play one measure and then they stop. Two, three, four, down to F, two, cool. So go ahead, practice the chords. Those are the chords of the song, all right? And it will do that over and over again. And once you feel like you have that down, come on back. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> um, okay. So we learned the chords of the song so far, um, and now we're going to learn the melody. Now, ideally, you'll be able to play both at the same time, but don't feel like you have to do that, all right? You may uh, pick the melody, you may pick the, 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 the notes of the song or the chords of the song, whatever you feel comfortable doing, as long as you're playing something. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you can play it perfect, all that matters is that you're making music. All right, so the melody of the song goes like this, and I'm going to play it just like that. play it one more time. Oh. All right, now we're going to take a look at that and we're going to move very slowly and I'm going to break it into four parts. Now we're going to start with the first part. The first part goes like this. And it's only four keys you're going to be pressing down. And the keys are this. You have a C. I'm sorry. You have an E. You have a G. You have a C. And you have a B. Those are the four keys for the first part of the song. And it goes like this. C, C, G. I'm so sorry. E. It starts with E. E, E, G, C, B. Go even slower. E, E, G, C, B. Now, I don't care if you get the rhythm perfect, if, as long as I can kind of tell what song you're playing, it will be fine. Right? That's the first part. Remember, if you feel like you're going fast, rewind it. Stop and practice, all right? Nobody learned anything all at once ever, all right? So you got to make sure you take it in chunks. The second part, part number two very similar to the first part, all right? It goes like this. So it starts with that E, E, G again, but then it goes B, G. No, I'm sorry. B, A. E, E, G, B, A. I'll do it one more time. E, E, G, B, A. So at the beginning we have E E G C B E E G B A. And if you want to play it with the chords, if you want to try, you don't have to, it would sound like this. That's what you would have. And since we're breaking it into four parts and we have four chords, every part goes with a chord. So the first part. Second part. All right, let's take a look at part number three. Part number three goes like this. We only got two notes. Real easy. And if you know how the song goes, you know what the words are, you can just sing the words along with them. I'm not going to say the words, but I know you know it. So it goes C, 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 C. No, not a C. I keep making that mistake. I'm sorry. E, 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 F. Do it again. E, 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 F. And if you want to play it with the chord, the chord that goes with it is A minor. E, 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 F. 
And then the last part, part number four, is F, 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 E, E. Very easy. F, 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 E, E. And that goes with the F chord. F, 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 E, E. So the whole song goes like this. Let's see if I can do it upside down. Nope, try it again. And that's the chorus to the song in the style of the song Demons by Imagine Dragons. So, take it slow. Do not try to play the whole thing at once. Do not try to play them together at first. Play one, play the other, play it slow, work it up. Then, once you feel like you have it comfortable, then put it together, all right? But the important thing at the end of the day is that you're trying to make music. You're not trying to get it perfect, you're just trying to express the music in the song, all right? Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Remember, rewind it if you feel like you still need help, and um, keep watching.